Hey there, it's David Chinelli here, Realtor with Royal LePage Signature. We're doing things a little bit differently today for our Real Estate Educational Fridays. Today, we're on the road, and we have with us you know, Sam Hewitt from Royal LePage Signature. Sam is with the management team. She's actually the one who uh, trained me. She's an, not only is she an amazing person, but she Aww. trained me. To, <laughs> I absolutely love her, though. She's amazing. So I love you, too. <laughs> Feelings mutual. Oh, thanks, Sam. So, yeah, so I wanted to bring you on. I wanted mm -hmm. to talk this. There's a lot of realtors that are yes. you've seen come through here, especially through signature. Mm -hmm. And obviously not everybody makes it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you notice is the most like the attributes for somebody who is successful? Like mm -hmm. what is it that they actually do? Yeah, good question. So I mean the interesting thing is that if from an attribute perspective, the best part about real estate is that really like anybody can be successful if they follow some really key principles early on. So the first and foremost thing people have to be thinking about is is consistency. How can I be consistent with my efforts? And a lot of realtors don't have complete clarity when they're coming into the business. This is a sales job. Yeah. Um, and sales meaning you've got to you know, make phone calls, you've got to make cold calls, you've got to do open houses. You may have to knock on some doors as you're getting started in the beginning. And you know, being consistent with your sales activities and prospecting is the number one thing that I see separates people from success versus failure. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's amazing advice. It's true. Like when we started with Sam, the first thing she did was, and I guess you, you work with virtual Robbins a lot. I work with Rob Vivian, but um, you so you kind of mesh some of their stuff together. And you said mm -hmm. the one of the best things you've ever told me is work with your database. These are people that yes. know you, know yeah. you, like you, that they want to help you with. And I think that was phenomenal. Uh, just getting your database up and together. Yes. Right? Yeah. That was really yeah. Cool. I think a lot of people in the beginning, the the hesitation with the database is they think I don't want to work with my friends or my family. And, and you know they don't want to work with me because they don't know if I'm going to be any good at this at this business yet, right? There's that hesitation on that trust factor. If I recommend David to my friend Mary, and David doesn't do a good job, now Mary thinks badly about me and about David. So <laughs> it, it can be a little bit of a hesitation in the beginning when people are getting started. But I think you know building no like and trust is really important in your database and making people understand now you're a realtor. You know I'm biased to say that I think if you start with a brokerage that supports you and has your back, it's easier to get over that hurdle faster um, because when you started one of the things I told you is that you're not alone and you have to I mean you had tremendous experience coming in so your path is a little bit different but you know coming into the business people have to realize when they start if they're with a good brokerage they have that brokerage support behind them and so when they're meeting clients going on listing appointments talking to buyer clients you know they it's not just them they have the support of the expertise and the knowledge of this big behemoth behind them and that hopefully helps them get going right, absolutely well Thanks again, Sam. So we're going to continue with this. You know, there's a little series I'm going to do. Ask a number of questions to Sam that actually would help you, whether you're going to be a realtor or whether you're looking just to buy and sell. She's got a wealth of knowledge. So <laughs> this is just a quick snippet, and we'll be back. Stay tuned. Bye for now. Bye.